Yo guys, what's up? It's A Jones coming out with another video and I finally got a full workout for you guys. Click the link on the description below or click the video right now to be directed to the full uncut workout. So I went today at 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, in the morning to get this footage for you guys. During the day, especially during dinner, oh my god is that place packed. So I went today, 1 o'clock in the morning, back and biceps, second favorite workout, second worst workout, I like to chest and triceps is my favorite, then back and biceps, I like biceps more, and then legs and shoulders. So as you can tell, I like to keep it, I like to keep it simple, I like to keep my workouts pretty simple, and I change whatever it is, whatever I feel like doing. So I don't have a designated, I'm going in and doing five sets all the time, doing five sets of eight reps, and gonna continue that until the end of time. I go in there, and right before the exercise that I do, I think, man, my body needs five sets to feel really good. To get that pump, I need five sets. I need five sets of eight. And so I get five sets of eight, or I get five sets of six. But I'm failing at six. I don't go to six just to go to six. I designate before, and then I fail at a number before the number I set out to do. Failure is a good thing in working out. It gets you that big pump. It gets you working hard, and ultimately, it makes you work a lot harder than you really should. So I go from pull-ups, pull-downs, lat pull-downs, wide grip, and then I go to close grip. In this exercise, I think I did five sets on back, and on biceps, I did three sets, super set of three exercises, well, of two exercises, and a final one to kill off my arms. Close grip cable rows, probably my favorite exercise in the gym. Actually, I take that back. Obviously, the bench press is my favorite in the gym. And then probably cable rows is my favorite back exercise. Do I like back exercises or cable rope barbell curls? I like that a lot just because it really kills off your arm. So I probably have to go with cable, cable curls and close grip cable rows are my second favorite exercise to do on this day. Working out 10 reps, 120 pounds. I worked all the way up to 160 pounds, lost a bit of strength. But as you can tell, I look pretty jacked on this, I'm not going to lie. This this machine makes you look so much bigger than you actually are and that's why I love doing it. You just feel like a G. I mean, who am I kidding? So, I, I think I hit five sets on that and then I go over to a different uh, machine. Same, same exercises, working the same part of your back. Did five sets. I alternate them just because I could really hit the muscle that I want to hit. Once again, I like to rotate my arm. I just like rotating motions more than just going straight back Honestly, I don't know why. I just feel that I really pull those muscles more when I do so. Get it. Get it. All right. Deadlifting. I haven't been deadlifting for very long. And when I do deadlift, I usually deadlift for eh, one week, maybe two exercises. And then I stop deadlifting and do back extensions. So I just started learning how to deadlift. I actually posted a video two months ago. My friend told me to hump the bar, which definitely helps in your form. I know my form's not the greatest, so if you guys want to give me some positive feedback, type it in the comment section below and I'll definitely, definitely read that. Yeah, so I did six sets here. I felt like a G right there. I had the camera, so I'm like, okay, let me put on three, three reps at 225. Um, I actually stumble, not good. Keep both your feet on the ground and rip that shit off the ground that's all you can say about it while keeping controlled so definitely will be working on that after recording this video i think i hurt my leg again so maybe i will not be deadlifting or doing any leg exercises which fucking sucks i work so hard to have someone take it away from me and that sucks i'm frustrated about that but that's another video that'll be a video in the future so as i mentioned in the previous of me speaking I, I really like to superset my biceps just because I feel like supersetting really gets that pump. I mean, 
I know I could rep out more than eight on the barbell curl doing 60 pounds, but after doing 20 reps at 25 pounds of barbell or dumbbell, then it really kills your arms and you really got to fight for it. So as you can tell, I'm fighting for it, fighting for it. And I, in the next clip, I'm going to show you guys how to work to failure. What is failure? People quit in their mind and be like, oh, that's failure. No, failure is when you physically cannot get that weight up and do the motion. So I was going for eight reps. As you can tell, I lightened the load to 50 pounds, but this is after supersetting everything, like all five, six exercises to this. So I try to get it up, try to get it up, try to get it up. I get it. I barely get it. Let's try it again. No, I physically cannot. So I'm just done. I'm just done. Preacher curls. Um, I, after watching this video, I realized that I wasn't doing things as like as right as I should. My elbow should be a little flatter on the on the bench, and I should go a little further down. But after after doing all those reps and all those sets of my curls and I'm still super setting right here I think this is a pretty decent set I mean if you guys don't let me know but right here man this I'm pretty proud of this my rotating curls I'm not swaying in the gym I see people swaying and using their whole body I just want to tell them that they're cheating but I'm not that douchebag to go in the gym and tell someone that they're doing something wrong of course I'll tell it to my gym buddy but I won't tell it to their face because that's just douchey so literally as you can tell i go to failure again i've hit failure this is probably one workout where i've hit failure the most and it definitely got my arms feeling huge so i hit three sets of supersetting um dumbbell curls and barbell curls and then i hit three sets of supersetting preacher curls with um dumbbell curls again and so i hit failure because I superset it and I'm doing this really quick and yeah this is probably my favorite exercise on back and biceps day it really kills off my arm I do lose a little form as you can tell I'm swaying a little bit more and using a little bit more of my body into it to get the weight up but I still hit failure at only 57 pounds that's because this is at the end of the workout and I'm really just going to make it feel like my arms are gonna fall off. And this really accomplishes it. So I start off usually 57, 60 pounds, go down to 42, whatever the next one is, go down to whatever. I usually go down to 35 or 30 pounds and just rep it out, just rep it out until my arms feel super sore. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know the commentary was not the greatest, but I'll definitely be trying to improve that. And also, I will try to get more footage of me in the gym and reps. So, thank you guys for watching and peace out.